My mother used to make it and have it on standby when we arrived on Christmas Eve, and now I'm doing exactly the same. I've got half smoked haddock and half ordinary haddock, 350 grams of each. And I'm just going to dice that up into reasonable sized pieces. So just about the, the amount that you would eat in one mouthful. And be wary for the odd bone. And that's it. To make the sauce for the fish pie, I like to use leeks. They're at their best in winter and add a perfect subtle flavour. You notice I don't do it as quickly as the chefs do. But I get there in the end. Fry them off in 50 grams of butter until they're nice and soft. Add 50 grams of flour and slowly whisk in 600 mils of hot milk. And watch it getting thicker and thicker. Don't add all the milk at once. If the sauce is a little bit too thick, you can always add a little more milk. That's it. Now I'm going to add salt and pepper. I like pepper. <laughs> there we are. A little bit of extra. And then I'm going to put the juice of half a lemon. That just sharpens it up. In goes the dill. If you're not a lover of dill, you could always put chopped parsley in. Then in goes the fish and the fish will cook in the hot sauce. The lovely smell of this fish, slightly smoky, just makes me think of Christmas. Once the fish begins to turn white, it's ready for the baking dish. Why do I grease the dish? Because it makes it much easier to clean afterwards. And it's usually me that's washing it up. Doesn't that look good? And now to the hard-boiled eggs. Yes, I'm generous with the hard-boiled eggs. I think I put more in than Mum does. And, you know, all my family love fish pie, but my husband, if I don't put lots of hard-boiled egg in, I'm in trouble. That's it. And now to the souffle topping. This is not only delicious, it's totally different and wonderfully crisp. Start by cutting five slices of stale bread into croutons. Then melt 75 grams of butter with the same amount of mature cheddar cheese. Add 50 grams of cream cheese over a low heat. Lastly, whisk one egg white until light and frothy. And put the egg white in. That's the souffle topping. Here come the croutons. In they go. And don't tell people it's bread. Just say it's souffle. They'll think it's pretty grand. There it is, all ready for the oven. Bake at 180 fan for 25 to 30 minutes until it's crisp and golden. Mum didn't have a glass door. I can have a glance and see everything's all right. How about that then? Who wouldn't be tempted to eat this on arrival on Christmas Eve? All piping hot, crispy topping, They'll all be starving for this.